underwater footage of a grey eel with green brown spots opening its jaws. On screen text reads, a moray eel's fearsome mouth hides a terrifying surprise. Museum scientist James McLean speaks to the camera. Most fish feed using a method called suction feeding. They rapidly expand their mouths and they suck in water and they draw in their prey inside and down their throats. Underwater footage of a large green eel swimming between two narrow rocks and opening its jaws. A moor eel can't do this. It lives in a very narrow, confined, rocky space and there just isn't enough room to expand their heads and to create that suction. Animation of a large yellow moray eel trapping and eating a small grey fish. And also a lot of the prey that they eat is too big and strong for this technique to work. So what they do is they have a set of movable jaws in the back of their throats. They attack their prey by biting with their oral jaws and then this second set of pharyngeal jaws is drawn forward, grabs the prey and then retracts taking it down the eel's gullet. This set of pharyngeal jaws has these terrifying sharp backwardly curved teeth all over it as well. An x-ray of a moray eel's skull. A circle enhances the pharyngeal jaw tucked away at the back of the eel's throat. Most bony fish have pharyngeal jaws and teeth, but only morays are known to be able to move them forward in this manner. An image of a moray eel holding its mouth ajar is overlaid on the left-hand side with a narrow, semi-opaque black rectangle on which the credits are displayed. Film Edward Taylor, Adrian Sherwin, Science James McLean, Research Alison Sheehan, Archive Shutterstock, Music Audio Network. On the right-hand side is the Natural History Museum logo consisting of the words Natural History Museum displayed in a column flanked by a large letter N on the left. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum London.